This fellowship started 18 months to two years ago. It started with a very small number of people. It was only about half a dozen of us. And so from half a dozen people, it was just word of mouth, um, to now we do sometimes 40, 45 uh, singles and families. The food itself we get from a place called Food Bank SA. They feed hundreds and hundreds of families every week um, through, through organisations like this one. If you wanted a box uh, of food, you usually come in, you make it up yourself. You're asked to take one milk, one bread, one box of cereal, and then you just pick what you want from the rest. I think mental health's a big issue in our society, like it's an epidemic at the moment. Um, Australia, for all its wealth and materialism, is miserable <laughs> and a lot of depression around, a lot of anxiety. Uh, and so it's a big area and I think it's an area that we need to do really well. Um, and I just think this fellowship's great in that we can care for people, we can have a place where they can come. The friendships that develop here are just beautiful. Um, people hanging out, particularly the blokes, you know, like it, blokes are always the hardest to kind of get together and sit and talk. And the, you know, the way we, these guys hang out, sit around, have a smoke, have a chat, share about life, share about mental health wrestles uh, is fantastic. They can come and get some food, but it's also a place where we're, you know, very keen to sort of talk about Jesus and how he impacts into our lives, how he is that bread of life, how he is that living water, and um, how he is the one that will truly satisfy. Doesn't guarantee that all of our problems will be fixed, but it gives us a certainty of, of who's in charge, uh, who's got our lives in their hands, and that we can kind of trust each day and that he is that sort of solid rock that's there for us. Instead of just calling it food hampers, we now call it the fellowship group because a lot of the men come down. Sometimes they don't even take a hamper anymore. They just fellowship with each other. We have one rule here, which is we're non-judgmental. And so they feel safe with each other. They are relaxed with each other and they can talk about their certain issues. Men in particular find it really, really hard to talk about their feelings. If they're depressed, if they're anxious, if they're feeling down, if they're single parents or parents that don't see their children. There's other fathers, there's other men that understand and, and they can talk to. And a lot of them now are starting to come to church, which is they feel comfortable inside the church ground, in the church building. Um, they're feeling relaxed enough that they're knowing enough people to not be too anxious. And now they're starting not only just to come to the fellowship group, but to actually come to a church service, which is lovely.